I like literally just want to make my coffee. Right now, but like I need to sit down and explain to you what the fuck's going on. Um, okay, so I actually love my hair right now. It's a little bit like, I think I want to put a toner in it so it's like a little bit darker, honestly. I don't want to be, I mean, I think like when I, when I brush it out, I'll show you. It's like really nice. Um, but I'm just like not into being like super blonde. And you guys know I was blonde forever and I just like to be more brunette. But I, like I told you like, this is exactly what I asked the girl for. Like exactly. Like I can't believe like, usually like to be honest, like I can't believe it's like, why do I speak literally like Japanese when I, when like I'm speaking to like, like a hair, uh, someone who does hair. Like, how do you not understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. Like, how do you never get it? You know what I mean? Um, but like, she like totally got it. Um, I was like shocked. Cause like, I don't have faith in like anyone when I ask them to do something, you know what I mean? Like I have to do everything myself. But um, anyway, I, but I think I like want a toner to make it a little bit darker. I don't know. I love it right now. I'm just gonna like live with it for a little while just cause I haven't decided. Um, and Ming is sick today. She, I brought her with me. She's in the back. She has like a stomach ache. She's eating grass. I feel really bad for her, but there's like construction going on in my house. So I brought her with me um, because it's a fucking idiot. Like, never mind, just stop. Anyway, um, so, okay. And then the thing is like, I'm trying to film right now and this bitch is like on my ass. Like she won't stop. Like she actually won't stop. And she can go on the other, the other lane, but she's like, insists on insists in like on being on my ass like why like why are you doing that um i just i really don't feel like getting angry at this point okay so i'm just gonna pull in somewhere quiet um because i was gonna do some my house today also okay i'm actually really annoyed because like i thought they were gonna start tomorrow on whatever but apparently it's starting today which is fine like whatever earlier better but um so like my hair, right? Like I'm kind of like into it. Um, kind of like into it. But I just wanna sit somewhere quiet. And actually this parking lot is usually like, really quiet. It's like not quiet right now. Um, okay, so let me just find a space. Like bear with me, okay? I'm like me yelling, shut up. Yeah, why is it so busy? I'm gonna go over this way. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna start talking. I, um, by the way, these are the Dynasty letters. I love them. They're solid 10K. I think I'm going to be raising the price of them, like, within the week. So, if you really want one, I would get it now. I think the, like, letter is, like, $100 or something. It's solid gold. So, I think I'm going to be raising it probably, I think, like, around $20. I'm not sure. 10 15 to $20. Just warning you guys because I know you guys are ordering them. But I want to give you a heads up. Like, things that just cost more right now. I don't want to talk about it. It's so fucking irritating. Like, stop. And if a security comes up to my car, I'm just sitting here. Leave me alone. Like, why are you being, like, weird? Like, why are you being weird about it? Shut up. Like, what do you think I'm a, like, gangbanger in a fucking white G-Wagon? Like, shut up. Like, what do you think I'm doing here? I think I'm fucking, like, shut up. So, it's dumb. Like, like, this is a thing. Like, you have nothing better to do than harass me. Like, it's so fucking weird to me. Like, use some common sense. What, what, what the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Eating my lunch, most likely. Okay, um, I just want to make sure the lighting is good because it's all about the lighting. Did you guys see that photo I posted yesterday? Do we, I don't actually don't like this lighting at all. See, and she's staring at me. She's like, a, like, honestly, she's like this nosy person. Like, I don't feel comfortable here. I don't. I have to leave. I don't feel comfortable here. Like, I just don't. I, I can tell. Like, I know you're staring at me. Like, she's staring at me. Like, she's really staring at me. Like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm parking in this lot. Like, I guess, like, private property-ish, but, like, go fuck yourself. Okay, um... I just don't want to deal with drama right now, so I'm just going to go somewhere else. Um, because I won't be able to relax. I need to, like, be able to relax. I just, and, like, the lighting wasn't good anyway, so it wasn't worth it. You guys, stop. All right. Um, I don't know where I'm going now, so I'll just start. I'll start to talk. I really want my coffee. That's the thing. I really want to sit down and make my coffee with you. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying, but I have, like, a list of things. Today is just, today is we are catching up. Um, oh yeah, the picture. I just that photo I posted yesterday that was not edited at all. Like I, I do do very, very minimal edits on my phone. I'm not gonna lie. Like not every photo I put up is like everyone edits their photo. Shit. Okay, everyone edits their photos. Like, what do you fucking think? Like, what do you think? Are you stupid? Are you fucking dumb? If you're, if you are upset that people edit their photos on Instagram, you're an idiot. Okay. You have no brain cells. You're stupid. Okay. If you think that's the way girls really look, there's something wrong with you. You're retarded. Okay. Yes, you are. That is, that is the reaction you'll get.
you'll get from me every time now because I've had enough of not being able to use the English language. Okay, just want to get out of the way. You're gonna make me sick today. No, you are. Um. Anyway, ew, I like it so ugly. Okay. So yesterday I put that photo up, but like, it's all about the lighting, you guys. Like, just find the lighting and like, just find the lighting. It's all about the lighting. It's the best. So like. I like, I know my lighting, I know my angles. Like, why don't, why haven't you figured it out yet? Like, I'm telling you, I know I don't look good from the side. Like, I don't post from that side, I don't like it. Like, it's something about that side, like, it's really ugly. Like, I just don't have, the side, I just don't like it. But like, I know, like, how to pose. Like, why can't, why don't you know that yet about yourself? Like, I think you need to spend some time working on that. Like, I really do. I think it's really important to do that because you like, need to put your, like, best foot forward in life like you always should look cute you know what I mean like why not why are you going to look like ugly ugly photos stupid like why are you taking ugly photos um there's like no excuse for it actually there's not I've taken plenty of ugly photos but I'm just telling you there's no excuse for it <laughs> okay um sometimes when you're fat like when I'm fat like you can't help it like it is what it is I should have gone in there I really want my fucking drink okay so there was no edit yesterday and like what I was saying like you know this whole thing with like people like unrealistic like body things or whatever like like oh my god like she's so skinny like ugh, it's so unfair I hate myself like bitch you're like you don't live in the real world do you There's something wrong with you like you're so dumb where you think that like that's actually how someone looks go to the beach go to the beach and look at everyone's like a fucking whale like no one looks good there everyone's like everyone's imperfect like Instagram is stupid like why do you even care like what was your problem she's so dumb um you should like compare yourself to yourself you know what I mean like you should always be the best version of yourself like right now bitch I'm bomb like dude I look so good naked I swear to god like I told you if I could post a naked ass photo I would because you could be able to, you guys would be like wow you actually look really good Alex and I'm like I know like I wish I could just walk around naked um because I feel like I look better naked than I actually do in clothes even um that's like my personal opinion it's true okay I'm gonna just get over right now and I'm gonna find a spot and if you're asking what we're doing today, don't ask stupid questions, okay? Today, I need to get out of the house because the fucking, I really wanted, like, I have this new coffee thing. I'm, I have a beef with Starbucks. I'm done with Starbucks. I'm done with you, stupid. And honestly, I'm so tired of the disrespect. Like, it's, uh, it's blatant. It's rude disrespect. And I don't like that. I just don't like um, a crotchety little bitch who works there. Every time I go, I feel like, every time I feel like I go to, like, Starbucks, I just feel like a crotchety little bitch. You know what I mean? It's like... She's like on the rag, like being a bitch. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have time for your shit. You think that I am not on my rag as well, on the rag as well. I'm a bigger bitch than you. Just do your job, I'll do my job. But shut the fuck up. Stop putting your fucking shit on my plate. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm just tired of the attitude and I'm tired of them constantly um taking my money for granted. I'm really tired of it. I don't like it. Like, you take my money for granted. I that's what I I seriously believe, and I'm done with you. Cause I have tried to be cool with you. Wow, this girl's hair is so long, it's really pretty. Um, I have tried to be like so cool with you like where I give you ch chances all the time because it's like pumpkin spice time right now right like I really love like my my like three shots of espresso with like the pumpkin foam on it but like the thing is bitch you are so disrespectful you can't even make the foam right you're rude okay oh um I think this might be a nice place to park okay it's all about the lighting let's see if we can find the lighting you know see it's like too blown out it has to be a little bit shady um, what do we think? No, I just, something wrong. Like, I, I don't feel my best hair either. Okay, on to the next one. I don't feel my best hair. Shut up. Don't even go, don't come at me. Don't come at me and, like, tell me, like, oh, like, something stupid. I don't want to hear your stupid shit. So, um, I'm so tired of it. It's like, I, I, okay, this is how I order the drink every time there. I think it might be better. Because I really want it to be right, and I just don't want to be aggravated, Okay. So I'll go say hi. Can I have three shots of espresso over ice with the pumpkin foam on top? Um, but can you please make sure to make the foam like thick and not watery? And um, they just have gotten they've gotten so lazy about it because they don't want to make a new batch, I think. And they let like some of like they, whatever they do in the blender, they try to use it for like multiple orders. But like I don't know how long the other one's been sitting there, so it's become watery where the foam like stays at the top, and then like it starts to get that heavy cream at the or whatever it is that like milk at the bottom and it's like vomit right see i like this i like this lighting okay hold on like we're at a park though and like there's like kids and shit i'm gonna go around that way um okay like so and it's like the thing is 
they take so long to make it sometimes where I don't feel like I need to, I want to wait anymore. So I kind of just like deal with it. And, um, I don't know. I've gotten to like fight, like separate, not to fight, but like, you know, a tiff, like, is this better here? Okay. I kind of like this. Okay. So now I can like relax. Um, let me make my coffee and then we can talk. I got to brush my hair. Okay. You see that like direct light that's coming out of my face though. Like I need to sit like this. But I don't like that, that like background, that park. Oh my God, ew, stop. All right, it's better. Um, oh man, I'm like sitting next to someone. I'm gonna try it. See how I got pink? I didn't look like a fucking pig, okay? No, I don't care. You guys can look at me like I'm a freak. I don't give a shit. And the lighting's not right. Oh great, now there's a bunch of like gardeners eating lunch and they're gonna be looking at me like I'm fucking psycho. Great. There. Okay, I think that's it. Are they staring at me? Because I can't I can't get comfortable. Alright, I think that's fine. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, I, I need to stop. Okay. So let me make my drink. So let me show you guys what I'm getting. Okay, no, no. So let me tell you the prop the thing now. I have this thing. Okay, I went to um it's weird like this little french um french coffee shop on the way we went to like carlsbad whatever to like see my parents and like get lunch with them or some shit whatever a couple weeks ago and on the way i wanted coffee because the traffic was so bad why do i have to tell you every detail like why do you even care you know what i mean like something's wrong with me so i um oh my god it's so weird to like be in orange county there's no like usually at a park in la it would be full of homeless people like full of homeless people and then I saw, I'm like so traumatized that like I saw a stroller with like a blanket over it. And I was like, oh my God, there's like homeless people here now, but there's not. It's like an actual stroller with a blanket over, you know what I mean? Like, sorry, I had a call. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm like so traumatized. Right. So I, anyway, we stopped at this, at this place for coffee and they had this thing called La Creme. It was like a real French like coffee shop or bakery. I don't actually, I'm just going to tell you the truth. I don't love this lighting either right now. Um, I just, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't love it. It's not perfect, okay? So, but it is what it is. I mean, if I scoot back a little bit, I don't know. Okay, stop. And it was called La Creme, and it was just, it said, um, a shot of, it says, uh, two shot of, uh, shots of espresso with cream. And it just sounded so simple, like, duh. But I asked for it over ice. Dude, I know it's the simplest thing ever. It's like, that's what we always drink, right? Okay, all it was, I think it was, I think it was like heavy whipping cream now, or half and half. I'm not sure what it was but it was so fucking good that I just had it on my mind ever since. Anyway, because Starbucks has been so disrespectful to me, like with this whole thing where they just throw, like they, they literally throw like, a, it's like a second. Okay, what is it like? It's like a discount. Like they threw like a discount to drink at me or some shit. It's like, it's like, it's like used or some shit. Like the drinks they're making lately are so sloppy and rude. I'm so sick of it. Like, no, there ha why is there not a standard? Uh, there's no standard. So I'm just done with it. I'm done with throwing flushing like five dollars on the toilet every day and being upset about it so i'm just sick of it i'm sick of the shit anyway i haven't been to starbucks in like two weeks because i'm just done um i've been making this drink at home and i'm probably getting fat from it but i really like it anyway i had to get it from starbucks right now because there's the contractors are there and i had to like leave um to film with you guys so this is just three shots of espresso over ice and then i got a side of half and half like i know it's so dumb but like when i make it at my house it's so good i don't know what it is i use like my nespresso pods and i just really like you know it's like the most basic thing ever like i know that's the thing i you're gonna tell me right now that i didn't come up with this am i did i tell you that i invented this that did i say that bitch because people are coming for me like alex don't even pretend like you did that uh, you like yes i did but no i didn't with this just because i like something doesn't mean i invented it with this so shut up god like what is your problem look at the dog you're so cute ming i know you're sick i'm sorry I'm gonna take you mark afterwards. I will. You missed waiting though. Okay. So um I'm just gonna and I'm not gonna drink that's a ton of half and half. It's so much. Like that's a thing. It's probably like quarter cup I poured in there. Um and it melted too much, but I want it to be really white like that. Like I know something's wrong with me lately, you guys. Like, I don't know, maybe my body's like dying for like vitamin D milk. I don't know what the fuck. Is that vitamin D? Yeah, okay. Um isn't vitamin D the sun though too? It's really good. I don't know what it is. It's like a breve latte, basically. I, I don't I don't know what this is, but I just really like it. But I won't drink the whole thing at all. You'll see, like I won't. So I'll probably take like 20 sips. I'll be like fucking, I don't even know, because I know I can't drink the whole thing. Shut up. Okay, so 
honestly because i really love this drink i'm gonna give myself more cream like i just really love the cream right now like something's wrong with me like i just want like i want these i want this drink like different than i would drink any other drink i don't know what the problem is ever since i went to that like french cafe i'm just like absolutely dead over it okay so it's like that i don't know i really like it it's so fatting all right so i just have to some things to catch up with you i want to show you guys this i'm so excited i got them from mitsuya it's like the japanese market um look what i found ew there's a fucking hair on it it's stuck um look at this i know you guys i know it's a hawaiian water bottle except it is so thin you can hardly hold it, it makes me sick but um the okay i went to the casino this weekend you guys saw i went to the casino right i actually won i was so excited i doubled my money like twice um i love casino so um yeah i went to see like a, like a band that i really like and um i've seen them like three times i think but um i want to get into the story with you guys some shit um, and then you're going to be offended by this video. So anyone out there who's ugly or annoying, um, or a woke little piece of shit, get the fuck off my page right now. I'm telling you right now, if you're easily offended, I don't want you here. No one cares about your fucking dumb opinion. Okay. You want to stop now? Um, okay. So I just let me brush my hair. So yeah, basically I was like throwing out. Okay. So they replaced, like, I have like. 40 like okay my house is built in like i think like 90s right um and i absolutely love my house like i feel like it has like the best bounds ever and um by the way if you guys are like missing like on patreon i feel like i'm pa on patreon i feel like i'm way more active and i'm like showing you guys much shit but like i'm just like instagram's like not fun anymore i feel like i get you guys like i feel like they just like have it out for me so it's like not fun like when someone had like like starbucks starbucks makes things not fun like when you're gonna be dis disrespectful to me like la i moved because it wasn't fun right like you are disrespecting my tax dollars like why am i gonna pay sit here and pay absorbent amount of like tax and like and like pay for this mortgage on this house when um you can't even like keep the homeless out of like coming up from my front my front yard like are you just out of your damn mind goodbye bitch okay so that's what i kind of feel like what was i saying about i forgot okay so anyway uh oh yeah about instagram so I've been sharing some stuff with you guys on there and like for example the picture I took yesterday I like put a couple pictures up on patreon first and I was like which one do you guys like better I don't like the lighting here right now which one do you guys like better and you guys help me pick it out because I like trust you more obviously um so you can catch me on there if you want to see like more real shit but Instagram is more just like oh you know like the grass is like green and the flowers are like pretty today like stupid shit you know what I mean like whatever dumb boring if I got out of my face um so i okay so my house i love it it's like 90s right but like the people who owned it before supposedly lived there for like 10 years but like it's like they were renters like they literally didn't give a fuck about the house like the amount of like money <laughs> and like work that i've put into this house fixing it from like it's just shit like these people were like the fucking dirty slobs right like i swear to god they were like nasty slobs um and it like it's just funny anyway so i'm replacing all the cans in the house like the lights everywhere because they're all different they're all like those like you know like just regular big bulbs that are like not on the effect like not efficient they're not bright enough like they're stupid like anyway so i'm having everything replaced and so they finished like the kitchen lights yesterday and like at night i turned on the lights and i was like oh my god like everything looks like a thousand times better i had no idea like i had no idea that like changing cans in the fucking in the ceilings will like make this much of a difference so they're doing them everywhere like all the, they're all getting done today so that's why i had to leave and they're also like fixing like some of my cabinets and shit whatever like whatever a lot of stuff they're fixing and so i had to get out but um sorry okay anyway i had a list to tell you guys about and um the first thing so I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, first I just want to get your opinion. Um, actually I usually, I've been saving opinion stuff for Patreon, but like, I don't know. I didn't do that there with this question because I already have it on my list for this week. Um, okay. So I have in like my bedroom, I have, by the way, this is the 18 inch, which I love now. I used to wear the 16 all the time, but I feel like the 18 is like way more of like a vibe. I feel like I just love the 18 inch. 
um, just so you know, this is the Dream Tennis Necklace. It's st solid sterling silver and looks like real platinum and it no, will never ta tarnish and it will always look like this. You can clean it. It's amazing. And then I'm wearing my Super Gleam in the 16, which I never ever take off. This is like three years. You know that. And then I'm wearing my Pave Diet Soda, my Ulox, and then um, same thing on the side and then a gold bar, uh, gold cube and then Miami, Bold Miami, uh, Bold Miami and my Rue Pave and the Rolex. Okay. And then ring. Okay. Oh, I should show you guys my ring. Actually, maybe I will. Actually, my pa <gasps> I'm going to show you on Patreon. You guys ask about this ring all the time. It's kind of like a secret. Um, that's what I should do. I'm going to show you the ring. It's really special, and it has to do with something I don't really talk about a lot. So maybe on Patreon, I'll show you guys the ring. Oh, my God. You'll love it. Um, I'll just tell you the story. I'll tell you the story about the ring. Okay. Um, why not? I think I will. I, I don't talk about things lately. Okay, stop. Okay, so anyway, in my room, you guys know my little sitting seating area, right? Um, well, there's also, you saw like a fireplace area, like it's big, like marble fire fireplace. And then there's like, it's very old school, which I love, like it's very 90s. There's like a little wet bar right next to it, like a refrigerator and like a little sink. Okay, so I took the sink out because I don't, I don't want a sink. It's just, I, I didn't want to like have to go. And I, I, I've done everything myself, like every, the whole design process, everything. There was no sketches done, anything, right? Like I just was like put this there do this do this like seriously like even my mom who never gives me credit for anything in the world um will be like she's like I can't believe you did this whole thing like on the first try and you love it and you had never had a sketch like and I was like I know I was like wait what sketch there's supposed to be a sketch isn't that like bougie like people who like have people around she's like no like when we did our kitchen 10 years ago we had people draw out like what it would look like and I was like I don't know I just know what I like in my head and I told them to do it, it was very simple stop making everything in your life a big deal just stop it okay like it seriously it doesn't have to be that big of a fucking deal okay right. anyway see i haven't even drank my drink okay so um i anyway they're by the fireplace to the right um what i'm gonna do is this it's so sick wait i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm doing because really i'm so excited there's a little alcove right so flat flat fireplace and then it there's an alcove like it dents in and before there was like um, was there a mirror above there? Or was one mirror in the back, like a, just a wall mirror on the back, and then there was walls on the side, and then there was disgusting like vomit granite, you know, like brown um, poop granite. Okay, um, and then um, there was a little refrigerator, like really nineties, like hardly works. Like these people were like stupid, just so gross. Like okay, and then there was a little cabinet because there was like a sink, you know what I mean? Whatever, a little whatever. So that's what I'm doing. I am doing this. Okay. So I'm going to make, I'm going to, I already bought a little like glass refrigerator, a mini refrigerator with like glass front door or whatever, stainless steel. And then I'm going to fill it up with water bottles. Um, and then I'm going to have just a, you know, like my kitchen cabinets, my Lufthansa kitchen cabinets. Okay. So that style is being copied. Like I did that in my living room and I am also doing that for that door and in my, in my bathroom. Like that's what I love. You know, if I love something, I love something. You know that about me. Like I know what I like. I don't like anything else. Don't I don't. That's what I want, okay? It's just simple. Make it simple, bitch. Don't give me a big fucking deal. All right. Like, who, I don't have time. Like, I have to run a business. I have this house by myself. Like, I think I have time to be, like, like deciding four million things, like, different rooms. But no, if I like something, I like something. Just do it, okay? So, anyway, why do you complicate everything? Like, why do you complicate stuff? It doesn't look good anyway. Like, I see what you do. It doesn't look good. Um. Anyway, my hair is, like, crazy. So, I... I'm going to do this. I have got that fridge and then I'm going to do the white, another like little cabinet, white door, glossy white. Okay. Then marble on top. No, no sink. I don't like wet bar sink. If I need a sink, I'll go to the bathroom. It's right there. Like I don't, I'm not going to do that. Okay. And I, I don't want to sink. It was like too, I, it's a vibe. Stop. Okay. It would have taken up too much room. Even if it was a really small sink. I don't like the idea of a sink there. Like I just would never use it. It was dumb. Okay. It just didn't, I don't, it just complicates things too, too complicated. Like stop. Okay. Then I'm going to do because there's three walls in that alcove, right? I'm gonna do the whole thing mirror. So mirror, 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 bevel, okay? Then I'm gonna do two glass shelves, okay? Like very casino. And then the top of like the the bar or whatever is gonna be also marble. When I say marble, I mean granite or whatever. Okay, shut up. You have to correct me on it. I refer to it as marble. Yes, I do. Shut up. You can refer, I can refer to it as whatever the fuck I wanna to refer to it as. So, um, before you rudely interrupted me, my question is this, I'm going to obviously put a coffee maker there. Okay. 
I, you guys, if you've been, no, I'm not going to talk to you about, you don't get to know everything because on Patreon, we talk about different things. Okay. Yeah. No, um, that's how it works now because that's just the way it works. Um, so I downstairs, you guys know, I have my Lufthansa, like 95 Nespresso maker that like no one has. And people have like the knockoff version. I swear to God. People have the ugly knockoff version. We've talked about this before, right? Remember? Like, I, no one has mine. It's very rare. Actually, I don't think you can buy it. You can buy it, honestly. Like, it's very, it's very hard to find. So, and it's, like, so funny when people they think they got the, the right one and it's the wrong one. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, see how you, like, tried and you failed? So, um, I don't want another Nespresso maker upstairs. And I don't want cream and milks and shit like that. I, I just don't. It, it needs to be simple, bitch. Okay. If it's like then this. It's like this in the morning like or if I'm getting ready to like go to dinner and I want like just some coffee just some quick coffee and I also you know if I want to like, sit on my balcony and like have coffee like it's just just simple I don't want to be like washing things carrying things down like milk rot you know what I mean like no so I was like I do love I hate it I will never have like don't want one the Keurig because it is so Karen like I feel like it's so like farmhouse like anyone has a farmhouse and like a coffee station has like a Keurig okay I know like four million of you guys out there do and I love the idea of a Keurig because of the flavors but I just cannot bring myself to get one because it's just so you know what I mean it's so like Target not even it's so like I, I hate Target okay I'm just gonna say it's Target I hate Target Target's like so expensive I don't understand why Target's expensive I hate it like it's actually really expensive it's always been really expensive and I hate it okay it's tacky there's nothing cute there get the fuck out of Target why are you in Target blowing money no the dollar spot is not cute bitch okay unless uh, stop unless you're like doing like a party for kids and you're doing goodie bags stop buying things from the dollar spot it's tacky stop okay like it's so embarrassing no it's not cute it's trash stop buying stupid shit for like a dollar okay i don't like it go to a thrift store for a dollar and buy something that's like that was like probably worth a lot more way cooler no one has it like get some stop it okay people have like no vibe oh my god i love the light right now like what happened okay so um anyway i really think i'm gonna put a keurig there like, okay, because I saw they had this really, like, they have this new, the problem is this, they put the name Keurig, like, uh, right on the outside. Why do you do that? Like, why do you do that, bitch? Like, it's like this. It's like, if I went to, like, if I went to, like, some, what's, like, a really bad brand? What's, like, a really bad brand? Okay, Target. If I went to Target, I just want to get, like, a white shirt, and they just wrote Target on the front. Like, why do you do that? Do you think I want anyone to notice a fucking Keurig? Like, why are you designers so stupid? Put it like, like on mine, on, on my Nespresso maker. It doesn't say Nespresso anywhere, but we know it's a Nespresso. We don't need to know, okay? You think it's like a brownie point to have a Keurig coffee maker for, it's like how much does it cost? Like 50 bucks? Like stop. No one cares about the fucking name when it's not a good name. Like stop being so fucking tacky. Put Keurig like on the top, like something where you don't see it. Anyway, it's like right on the fucking front. Like, no, see what I mean? Like, no, I don't want a Keurig maker in my bedroom in my sitting area no I do not you ruined it so it's like I want a Keurig maker that's the right color the color was correct but it said Keurig on the front like what am I gonna do with that now like no like that you just killed the entire vibe you think I'm gonna like I want to put like cute Hermes maybe like co some costumes like very simple things like like a, like very simple things on those glass shelves I don't know what I'm gonna do but you think I'm gonna do like Keurig maker there now like and ruin the vibe like you just killed it like why couldn't you just be discreet about it just be discreet like that's very classy just have like a simple nice like like a, an off-white color simple coffee maker with no name on it bitch you don't have, we know what it is we know okay we know it's a Keurig maker you don't have to like um, solicit that no one wants to see it okay it's not a good thing to have a curie maker it's like it's like you have an automobile people have automobiles like it's like a very basic thing like you don't have to like, like you know what I mean it's like stop okay it bothers me it really bothers me so you ruin that so like, I need like advice because I need to get like a small I really want the curie because I want like pumpkin spice I want like cinnamon like like cinnabon like I really want that you know what I mean I love those flavors and stuff so I think I'm going to get a curie but I need to find one without uh, like a label on it I'm so mad because I saw this like really good deal for one and like all this shit, but it said Keurig right on the damn front. Like Keurig right on the damn front of the maker. Like, are you dumb? I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like put a sticker over it? Like it's stupid, I can't do that. 
Why do I have to do everything? Like, I'm not kidding. Do you know how many more you would sell, you dumb shits, if you didn't put Keurigra in the fucking front? Stupid. Okay, next thing I want to show you guys is this, because I feel like it's something that, um, it's, I'm going to save you, I'm going to save your life right now. <gasps> Where'd it go? No, I brought it. I brought it to show you. Okay, okay, I brought it to show you. I'm going to save your life. I'm going to save your life right now. Okay. Nothing annoys me more than I, I've, I've talked to you guys about this on Insta about ugly makeup, like ugly compacts, like ugly bottles. I will not buy it. I will not buy it. Like if it's ugly, I can't, like, I don't care how good the product is because the thing is like, I won't run through a product. It will take me a good six months, right? To run through a product. It, it really will. Like they don't, maybe even more. So if the bottle is ugly, if it's not a vibe, if it's not pretty, if it's some wild color, okay, I will forego that, okay, because I don't want it. And I'll just go to like Chanel or something else that has a classier bottle because I don't want to look at your tacky shit on my counter. It doesn't make me happy. You're tacky. You don't get it. Get a new designer. There's so many, like, I just like it. Like, okay. So I saw that Benefit had like their spray or something, you know what I mean? Like their setting spray, it said like it diffuses like pores and stuff, which isn't true. Like it's stupid, dumb. And it like sets your face all. like, I do have like, you can see like some pores, like everyone has pores. Yeah. Did you know that? Like, did you know that you dumb shits, people on Instagram who are trying to act, whatever, I won't talk about it. But like, if you're really offended by girls, like pretty girls on Instagram, there's something wrong with you because it's edited photos. You fucking idiot. I've already talked to you. So dumb. Like, I'm so sick of people, woke ass people ruining everything. Like, you're that stupid where you think that, like, these girls think that's what they look like. Like, have you not been in public? Have you not seen what people look like? Do you not, do you not walk, have you not been out of the house? Probably not. You're probably sitting in your house for the past two years. And you know why. Dumb. Okay. Um, so this, this is what I did. I bought that shit because I heard it was really good and I was like, I don't have another setting spray. I've tried Tasha, but that shit's so expensive and I feel like it's dumb. No, it doesn't work. Like anyone who's buying that Tasha fucking spray, what? Like who? Why? Like it's, what? It doesn't work. It's dumb. So I bought the Benefit one, but it's in the ugliest like teal spray bottle ever with some dumb like, like, like cartoon on it. It's so tacky. Why? is everything i want to kill everyone like why is everything so tacky um i just don't get it. like it, it actually really infuriates me like how people aren't put in check like you need someone who's blunt as shit to go into these these like these businesses and, and set them straight and be like no this is not the damn vibe okay it's ugly you need some fucking people who aren't woke little bitches running places like no bitch that is ugly, okay? That's fucking ugly, bitch, okay? That's what you need. Like, at a board meeting, that's what you need. That is fugly, bitch, okay? No, that's a no. Redo it. That's what you need. Someone to do that. Like, you actually need someone to redo it. You need, And if the person who's doing a bad job can't doesn't have the balls to fucking take it and redo it, then fire them, okay? That's it. Like, I don't have time for your ugly shit anymore, ruining my counter. So I bought it, and I was I had it on my counter. I was, like, infuriated because it was so ugly. You, like, you know where I sit and I do my makeup? Sorry, my hair is like really ugly. Um, you know where I like sit and do my makeup in my little area? Like now, everything there that I have out is a vibe. Everything, like every last thing that I have out there is a vibe, okay? All the box, all the containers are vibes. Like all the makeup that I have is a vibe. And I didn't buy it if it wasn't a vibe. I, won't, I will not purchase it. So I was like, I'm not gonna, I need to use a spray sometimes for my face. Like I don't even need to, but I just do it because I feel like people use it, whatever. So I went to the drugstore and I bought this clear bottle and I poured it in and I threw that ugly fucking bottle away. But like, I, that's what I do it, do that, okay? Because I know half, everything is so ugly. Like just go get this clear bottle from like Rite Aid or whatever and pour your shit in here. Cause at, you know, this looks like semen, I get it, it's disgusting. But it's better than that, cause at least it's like, it, you know what it looks like to me? I actually like it because it looks like, you know when you go to like the department stores and they have like the alcohol when you're like trying on like makeup, right? It's kind of like department story. Wow, bitch, stop. Um, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like a department store vibe. You guys know I like like, like 90s department store vibe. So I feel like, why is she touching her? Why would you ask the stupidest question? Like why, why would you ask that question here? Okay, so that's that. Do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to get into something that's going to offend you. And then I'm going to get into one more thing and we're done. Okay. I'm going to talk about this because you guys are asking about this thing. Remember I did this and I have my song on? Okay. So I'm going to put this on and I'm going to take it off. 
and I got this from Ulta I really like it and I have you or you can get like those really cheap ones like this from like Rite Aid it's not a big deal people ask I'm not kidding like it's so embarrassing that people ask where to get these it's just a black headband like like it's it's really weird that people ask okay stop so when I have like really greasy hair I feel like this is last resort and it kind of works okay So it, the problem is my hair is not the ugly, it's not the best right now for this because um, it's not dirty enough. So I'm actually going to be a part of this group I'm talking about. I just look really ugly right now. Okay. I can't even do it because like my hair is not greasy enough. I look like a rock star. It's so ugly. Like honestly, stop. So if my hair was not this disgusting um, and... The lighting is like really atrocious. Okay, there. So if my hair wasn't like this, because it can't be like, your hair has to be really like on point or else you look like a fucking rock star and it's ugly. Okay, but um, people are asking about this, but this is the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. Like not everyone can pull this off. That's the truth. Not everyone can pull off this, this headband. Okay, and I'm I, to be honest, like right now I can't because I look like rocker hair, so I'm gonna take it off because I can't take myself myself seriously. But um, like this is you know what I mean. You have to have the right vibe. Okay, and you're gonna get really mad if I tell you this, and I don't care because if there's something if if you, if you can't t handle the truth, then you shouldn't be here anyway. If you're ugly, you can't wear this. Okay, if you're ugly, you can't wear this. That's the truth. Just like bitch. Um, if you, um, and this is you get mad at me too. You get mad at me too. If you are 600 pounds, um, you shouldn't be wearing a bikini. Like, bottom line, okay? Like, you shouldn't, okay? Um, that's just, it's called, like, real world talk. You can do whatever you want. It's a free country. But if you're ugly, you shouldn't be wearing this. That's the truth. Um, anyway. So here, it's actually made in Italy too. I was shocked. Ulta. Really love it. But, um, I know you guys are asking me like about this thing, but like, I don't care. Like, this is the truth. Like, why can't we state the obvious? Like, yeah, if you have an ugly face and you pull back all of your hair from your face, no, like you can't do it. Okay. Like, stop. Just, just, like, it's actually like, if, if you, if your parents didn't teach you that, there's something wrong with you. All right. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the numbers. You guys are going to die about this. You guys are going to honestly die. I got to tell you, you're going to be like, oh my God. Okay. I'm shocked. So let me just tell you how shadow banned I am. It's like actually hilarious and I need to just tell you. So I, on my new account, I've, on my new Insta, I had, right now I have like just 7,000 something, right? My new one. I have like, you know, whatever. I have 7,000 followers. And I get on my Insta stories about 5,000 to 6,000 views, okay, on each one of my Insta stories, which is pretty good out of 7,000 people. 6,000, five to 6,000 are seeing my stories. Okay, <laughs> not kidding. Well, let me tell you, on my real HRH collection page, okay, my real HRH collection page, I had 138,000, I think. So when I was really shadow banned, I would get less than 8,000 views on my Insta stories. Okay, do the math. And my new word is like shadow fucked. I swear to God, like I'm shadow ban. Like I'm so shadow fucked. Like I just like, it's just like, I'm so sick of it that like, I'm just so sick of it. But yeah, can you believe that? Like if you do the math, I, at one point I was getting like 25,000 views and then it would like drop. I should be getting way more. If you have 138,000 people who you don't, I didn't buy one of them. You know that. Um, then you should be getting way more than 25,000 views, right? Um, so, I, but right now, but, I, but when I was really shadow banned, I was getting, I'm not doing my makeup. Um, I was getting, I just told you. Okay, then, then this. So, let me tell you. On HRH, sorry, my lips are getting really ugly. Do you see how I can, do you see I can be honest with myself though? My lips at that point were, I have ugly lips. Like I can be honest with myself, just like you. It's like, if you have an ugly face, you can't wear the headband, but you can't be, you can't be uh, honest with yourself. And like someone says it to me and then I'm the bad person. It's really just like crazy how backward the world is right now. So much better. Okay. So, um, anyway, what I was going to say is, um, oh yeah. Okay. So, okay. On real HRH, which was 138,000 followers, um, on a selfie, like a really hot selfie. Okay. Like a really hot selfie. Okay. Selfies that were like, whatever. I probably got like, 
uh, 3,000. I always, I feel like I always hit the 3,000 mark. If I didn't hit the 3,000 mark, it was weird, right? Okay. So with a really hot selfie, I'd get 3,500. A really hot one. Like I couldn't, I, it was really hard to get past like 3,500. You guys just don't really like my selfies that much, I feel like. Okay. Whatever. Um, and, or it's because I think it's shadow banned because on my new account, I only have 7,000 followers and I think I have over 2,000 likes on the picture that I posted yesterday, the one that was like unedited or whatever, which is a really good, which is a really nice photo of me. Um, it was like the perfect lighting. It's all about lighting. Okay. And it's all about just knowing your angle and being honest with yourself. Okay. Like, no, not everyone looks up like this. Like, no, not everyone has a, can like have a smile. Like not everyone can do that. Okay. Like I'm so sick of people not being able to be real. If you have an ugly mouth, don't smile. Like figure it out. Okay. Like I am so, do you think like I'm not toned. Okay, I'm not toned. Do you think I would take a picture with like my stomach out? No, I would not. No, I would not. I'm a stupid idiot. I'm so sick of people. I'm just sick of people living in a fucking clown world. Okay. Um. So yeah, and then let's talk about this. So t TikTok. Um. I don't do anything on TikTok. Like I, I film. I, I I'll, I'll repost like um a, a clip from here, or I'll do like a rebuttal, which I'll also speak to you guys about, like to the beta males out there. Um. But like I. I spend no energy on that. Like I spend zero energy on TikTok. Like, and that shit grows like crazy. I'm already at like 75,000 followers. I barely post. I never on it. You know what I mean? And then you're telling me that I've been on, I've been on like, what's it called? Instagram for almost 10 years. I'm 138,000 followers. Like, okay. Like it shows, it shows you right there. Like I, I probably it's different where you like, growth on it on TikTok is way easier or something. I don't know, but it's just like, do you see what I mean? How horrible Instagram is like where you can't even gain a follower. Like who do you got to fuck to gain a follower? You know what I mean? Like seriously. Um, I love saying that too. Like who do you have to fuck to get a drink? Like who do I have to fuck around here to get a follower? Like seriously. Um, that's what it feels like. It's like that impossible. Um, but it's like, it's really, really obnoxious. Like it's really annoying. Um, and then, okay, the last thing I talk about is the beta males. I gotta just like kind of like keep you guys up to date. So on TikTok, and by the way, people who don't, people who use my clips or use my voice on TikTok and then don't, don't like give me credit, um, fuck you and fuck you, okay? Like you're just like, you know what you are? You're a fucking piggybacking little bitch, okay? You're a freeloading piggybacking bitch with, you know what you do? You have no content. You're not, you don't have a personality. You have no creativity. You have no charm. You have, um, and you're stupid and you're a loser, okay? Because you're using my shit and you don't even give me credit. Like if I was using someone's shit, I would like literally give them credit. I'd be like, um, like HRH collection, something, okay? Um, anyway, so, oh yeah, the rebuttal. Okay. So these men will not stop. So, you know, the requirements video, I know I go, I go over this all the time, but that thing is crazy. Look, I'm not taking it down, obviously, cause it's so funny the way they got it wrong. But, um, so the requirements video, I was telling like the trolls, like, um, don't come for something, like don't come for me unless you like show me your tax returns, your bank statements, do a 360 and show me your, your side profile. Like. I was speaking to the ugly ass trolls out there. Cause I told you guys, if you are like trying people, you're ugly. It's impossible. You're hot or successful. If you're trying someone period, end of story, you are ugly. Okay. Like a thousand percent you're ugly and you're a fucking loser. Okay. Thousand percent because anyone who's not a loser and hot don't have time to try people. They just don't like, that's why they're hot and successful because they focus on themselves. But the thing is, like I said in the past, like there it's life is unfair. And I understand that like life is very unfair and some people are ugly and losers and they always will be ugly and losers. And there's nothing they can do about it. Like it just is what it is. Like it's life. Okay. Just like there's things in life that aren't fair. Not everyone, bitch, not everyone should go to college. Okay. It's the truth. And I made a mistake in my last video, which I do want to say, I, I, what I said was wrong. People are, are like hounding me about it. When I said only if you should, only if you pay to pay for college, you should be able to get in. I fucked up. I did not mean that. What I mean is, yeah, if you can afford, if you have rich parents who can put you in college and you're in it fucking dense, whatever you, it's life. But if you're smart, you should be able to go to college. If you can get in to college, actually get in. Okay. Pass test, not because of any like loopholes, this and that. Like if you are qualified, okay. And are going for like, you know what I mean? Then you should go to college, but not everyone should go to college. Like there you, not everyone should go to college. Okay. It's stupid. Okay. Like, are you dumb? 
to think that everyone should go to college and should be free for everyone. Are you fucking retarded? Yes. If you think that, you are fucking dumb. Okay? Like, you are that stupid where if you think everyone should go to college. No, everyone should do something with their life. Yes, everyone should, like, find what they like to do, whatever. But life is not fair. Like, it's just not. Okay? It is what it is. Like, it's, it baffles me that people think that everyone should go to college. Like, it is this... I, 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 like, zero words. Anyway, you... Before you actually set me off and rudely interrupted me. Okay, you rudely interrupted me with your bullshit. Trying to catch me. Trying to catch me. That's what you try to do. You try to catch me and try to pay me out to be an idiot. She thinks... I know I said what I said, but I messed up, okay? So I'm coming back to it. I was talking about the rebuttal. Yeah, all right. So I'm told, let's go back to TikTok. I finally was, like, so sick of this because these men will not stop playing with girls, right? They're playing with girls and like on TikTok, like they don't have, they don't have girlfriends or husband or sorry, girlfriends or wives to keep them in check. That's the thing. Straight males, I've already said it, straight males should not be on TikTok. There's something wrong with you, a thousand percent. There's a, you're either a loser. Okay, if you're playing with girls and fighting with girls and doing duets, you're a loser. You're something wrong with you. You're a fucking little beta bitch, okay? My dick's bigger than yours dick's bigger than yours okay um second of all i so i did a rebuttal the other day about setting these betas straight because they will not stop bitch like i swear to god like they have been told that this video is not about them it's about trolls like i have told everyone's told them like we know like it's it sounds corrected that like what are you doing you know what i mean like why are you even doing this anymore it's like you're so embarrassing you've ruined it it's like when you it's like when you don't get the joke and like it's or or you like laugh too many times about a joke and you just embarrass it though like you look like a fucking weirdo like something's wrong with you you know what i mean it's like that um so i did a rebuttal the other day telling everybody enough's enough like these guys are like so stupid like they literally don't understand like i have this was not about them at all anyway i put that up um and they're still doing it and it's like so sad it's like these old men who have been honestly hurt like i actually feel bad for some of them it's like it could be like my dad say my dad had like a divorce and like he's actually been he's like really hurt about it and he sees like this girl saying i want to see your tax returns your bank statements your do a 360 show me your like show me your your uh face or your like side profile like i actually feel really bad that that these moronic dumb fucks okay think that that's what i said like first of all i have never dated any any people that i've dated have never been as successful as me i don't date people because of their success like it's really actually like that's not important to me it's not if it was important to me that's what I would date, date, right? Like I would be, I'm not, then they think I'm like a gold digger. Like, because I'm saying this shit, it's like, it's gotten to be so ridiculous. I'm going to set it straight here. Like a thousand, one million percent. And you guys know this because you saw my, um, like whatever it was a video about finding love or something. Like, it's so about like the chemistry. It's so about how they love you. It's not about whatever. I don't have to, I don't, why am I, I'm not, I don't even want to get into this because this wasn't what it was about, but like, it just makes me mad that like I didn't say that to these dumb shits and they actually will not stop. Like, and they're like so hurt. Like, a lot of them are like so, you can tell. Like, I feel bad for some of them. Like, their faces are like so depressed. And like, I'm like, I kind of want to be like, I kind of want some of them wanted to be like, listen, I, that's not what this meant at all, but you know what I mean? Like, fuck you. Um, because I actually am a nice person. Like, I actually do, like, I'm not a bitch. Um, but it's like, you, 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 I have the rule where you tried me. Like, you started with me, bitch. Equal opportunity now. So now, fuck yourself, you know? Anyway, um, that's all. You guys follow me on Patreon. Seriously, it's fun. And, um, I feel like I'm just more interactive on there. Like, I might, I think I'm gonna do the ring thing later. I'm totally gonna do the ring thing later. Cause I'm, I'm doing my nails later. I can't wait. They're way too long. I need to get them like um, cut down. I can, like, they're so long. I think I might get like a baby blue color this time. I kind of mind you like blue. I don't know why. Anyway, um, I love you guys so much. Um, all right, bye.